Breathing is one of the important functions of our body. Many people do not know the way we breathe impacts on our overall health. If you are a mouth breather, if you are breathing if you are taking very short breathings, this is a very very important video for you to know the differences between mouth breathing and the nose breathing. By end of this video, I make sure that you breathe correctly. You will be very much aware of your breathing. Hi, my name is Badrinath Gella. I am the founder of Conscious Breathing Hub and I am also the certified wellness coach by Ministry of Ayush Government of India. In our Conscious Breathing Hub, people join together to improve the quality of their breathing, to, to improve the quality of their life. If you want to be part of our Conscious Breathing Hub, please click the link below in the description. Let us see the 11 reasons why you should breathe from the nose. The reason number one, place your palm on your heart. Open your mouth widely and inhale and exhale. Observe the heart rate. Again, keep your palm on your heart and inhale and exhale from your nose. Can you see the difference? Mouth breathing is a stress breathing where you are putting a lot of stress on your heart. You are prone to heart diseases, you are prone to stress, anxiety and depression. The reason number two, every day hundreds and thousands of chemicals release into the air. Especially if you are living in the metro cities like Hyderabad, New Delhi, Mumbai or London, Paris, etc. You are exposed to the more pollution. If you are breathing from your mouth, you are directly inhaling all those pollutants to your body. The nose, the beautiful part of the nose is the mucous membrane and the hairs in the new nose filters the air and take it into the, our body. That is the reason you have to breathe from your nose. The reason number three, open your mouth again and inhale. If you observe, the tongue is touching to the upper palate of your mouth. The chin is going back, which thins your passage, air passage and also it affects on your facial development especially if you are a kid if you have any kids if they are breathing from their mouth their facial development gets affected and their chin goes back and uh, they, they also have a lot of dental problems that is the reason you should not breathe from your nose the reason number four when you're inhaling the nose humidifies the air it increases the temperature of the air and balances to the body temperature that reduces the risk of the infections if you observe when you are inhaling it is touching to your nose and you are inhaling the warm air which is reaches to the your lungs when you are exhaling you are exhaling the warm air you are not exhaling the air which is the temperature which you are living in you are exhaling the warm air so the nose balances the humidification the temperature of the air reason number five Nose breathing slows down your breathing. You breathe slowly. That will help you to pick higher, higher concentrations of NO2, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is responsible for many physiological functions of our body. The immune response, the neurological response and many other physiological response. That is the reason you should breathe from your nose. The reason number six. When you are breathing from your mouth, you are not engaging the diaphragmic muscle which is between your abdomen and your lungs. The diaphragm muscle should be engaged when you are inhaling and exhaling. And also, the majority of the blood is concentrated in the lower parts of your lungs. The, when you are inhaling from your mouth, you, the air is not reaching to the lower parts of the lungs. That is the reason diaphragm is not engaged, so that there is no proper oxygen exchange happens because blood is carrying the gases. There is no proper gases exchange happens because of not breathing from your nose. Reason number seven, mouth breathing impacts on your dental health. People who are breathing from mouth are more prone to the dental cavities, gum diseases and bad breath. Reason number eight, mouth breathing dries up your mouth. When your mouth is dry, there is more chances of bacteria spreading in your body. Dry mouth increases the acidity in your mouth. When you breathe through your nose, your sinuses add the moisture to the air you breathe. That's why you should breathe from your nose. Reason number nine, mouth breathing 
reduces the oxygen levels in your body increase the carbon dioxide levels which imbalances the ph level in our body it will not allow to maintain the ph level in our body reason number 10 when you are breathing from your nose the air goes slowly to the lungs that will give an enough space for oxygen transfer to take place the blood exposed to the air sacs for one third of the seconds the gas exchange must take place within that time by breathing fast and hard you are not letting your oxygen exchange to happen that is the reason you have to breathe from your nose the reason number 11 the final one is like the saliva production the mouth breathing reduces the production of saliva saliva contains lot of minerals which is responsible for maintaining our health I hope by now you are aware why you should not breathe from your mouth and you have to breathe from your nose. The nose is for breathing, the mouth is for eating. If you found this video valuable, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Please do not forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Do consider joining our Conscious Breathing Hub to improve the quality of your breathing and quality of your life. Thank you. See you again. Keep safe and stay inspiring. Bye.